According to one recent study, smartphone users check their phones an average of 85 times per day. Many of us have become so connected digitally that we fail to notice the people immediately around us. Doctors have reported increasing numbers of people injured due to distracted walking. We have ceased to get our news from the neighbors, our news of the world. We've even ceased to get it from newspapers or televisions because most of it comes to us and sometimes overwhelms us on that super highway of information over the internet. In general, in recent years, and more particularly since COVID-19 has stopped us from regular in-person gatherings, online is where much of humanity now spends a great deal of time. As people of faith, we cannot fail to be in these spaces if we want to reach out to others, if we want to be aware of what's going on and engaged with the pain of the world. And while our smartphones and tablets can indeed be devices of distraction, they can also be tools for meaningful connections. I recently discovered a book by theologian and high-tech consultant Jennifer Cobb. The book is entitled Cyber Grace, The Search for God in the Digital World. Now, this book offers paradoxical evidence that our machines just might be conduits to deeper spirituality. This seems hard to believe because with daily headlines announcing ever increasing and dizzying advances in information technology, many people wonder wonder about their own and their children's ability to lead lives imbued with the sacred. So we are going to explore. Explore over the next four Sundays in worship how we might encounter the sacred in the world of the digital. We're going to explore those places where we find value in closeness, and those places where we find value in distance. This first week, we invite you to listen to an interview, or as our speaker more eloquently calls it, a sacred inquiry about joining with others for prayer by means of the virtual. And I will be speaking with Jane Garland, a clinical professor emeritus of psychiatry at UBC a member of our congregation, a person of prayer.